In her book, Let the Dogs Speak, Albuquerque native Marianne McKiernan tells the story of four puppies training to be canine companions from the dog's point of view. Their tale is funny, suspenseful, and heartwarming, and a must read for dog lovers everywhere. And Marianne is with us this morning along with Jeb, I believe. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank All right, you so, so much. what compelled you to write this book? Well, it started as a blog um, to bring people to our website at my work, and it was so much fun. I kept going, mm -hmm. and then a publisher approached me about turning it into a book. Wow, okay. And now you tell the story from the dog's point of view, is correct, that right? Correct, correct. Okay. The dogs actually did the writing, I just did the typing. <laughs> the dogs, okay. So it was ghostwritten. Yes, right? yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Exactly. Great. Now we have some images from the book. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little about those? Sure. Let's see. Let's take a look at them. I think we have some image. Yeah, yes. there we go. Um, that's me with Parker after Parker rolled in a dead snake. <laughs> um, that's Hudson. We often take the dogs to a fire station for class so they get used to strange things. Okay. Now, and what are we going to learn from reading this book? Um, I think you're going to learn about training a dog to be a service dog, uh -huh. and you're also going to learn a lot about dog behavior. Okay. And then just some funny things. You okay. Know, funny things happen when you take your dog out in public. That's great. That's such a great little picture with the shoes on. Yes, I had a wonderful cartoonist draw my pictures. Yeah, they're great. They're fantastic. Now, who is this book going to appeal to? It'll appeal to any age. I've had kids read it um, all the way up through elderly people. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's a dog lover or who has an interest in service dogs and how they're trained. Okay, great. And he's so well behaved, as you oh, were saying. You. He's, you know, he's kind of used to being on a on a TV set here. Now, uh, the donations and royalties uh, they're going to go to the Canine Companion for Independence, right? Correct. So let's talk a little bit more about this organization. They are the oldest service dog organization in the country. They've mm -hmm. been in business for over 35 years. Um, we provide the dogs at no charge to the people that need them, and we do four kinds of dogs. Mm -hmm. um, service dogs, skilled companions with kids, hearing dogs, and facility dogs. That's great. That's great. And, and you said that this one is actually, you've, you've raised eight canine Correct. companions. And he's number nine. And he is number nine. Okay. Now, these dogs, they, they lead a, a very different structured pup, puppyhood, right? Right. So what is, what is the life of a canine companion? What, uh, what is that like? Well, um, our job is to teach them about 30 basic commands and to socialize them. So we go out in public to grocery stores, movie theaters. I take him to work. Um, we go to the gym, mm -hmm. you know, all those kinds of things because we don't know what his person that he's matched with will do. Right. So we want them to be pretty bomb proof in public. Okay. Um, at home, he's welcome to be a puppy, but he still has to follow the rules. Right. So he's not allowed on the furniture. Um, he doesn't get to sleep on the bed like our pet dogs do. Right. Yeah, and that's, you know, uh, my wife and I both, we, we kind of treat our dogs, you know, we, we let them get away with a lot more than Absolutely. I think a lot of animal trainers would, would like us to. Now, I, he is so well behaved. He's smelling oh, something you. here. But how old is he? He's 14 months. He's 14 months, and he's mm -hmm. already this well behaved. Yes. That is amazing. My dogs are like seven and eight. They're not that well behaved. Well, our pet dogs aren't this well behaved. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay, that's good. Now, uh, when will he go to CCI College? He goes to college in May, and he that's another to six to nine months. Okay, six to nine months, and then uh, thereafter, he he will go out in into the world of service. Right. We hope he'll be matched with somebody and he'll Great. graduate. Okay. Now, our viewers, they're going to get a chance to meet you this weekend at two mm -hmm. separate events. Is yes. that right? Yes. Let's talk about those. Um, I will be at the uh, library in Harris on mm -hmm. Saturday at 4 and then at Bookworks on Sunday at 3. Okay, great. And uh, is Jeb going to be there as well? Absolutely. we want to meet Jeb? Absolutely. He wants to meet his fans. Yeah, he does. Absolutely. He's like, well, we're talking about me. He's getting up. <laughs> and you also have a Facebook page as well. I right? do. Um, it's Let the Dog Speak CCI. Yeah, let the dog speak CCI. <laughs> what a good boy. What a good boy. Well, thank you so much, thank Jeb. You. A real pleasure to meet you. I know you're getting antsy because you've yes. got fans that want to pet you out there. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. Absolutely. All right. Well, Halloween.